Episode 1 was legit one hour long. Gonna rain until tomorrow. It's raining here, too. I wish it would stop, but I don't know. Bring, bring. Beep. Ooh, freezing rain as hell. It hasn't started doing freezing rain here yet. It's still like 40 degrees outside. Hello, this is Maya. Hey, Maya, it's me. I saw some part of a case, but I do not know which case that is, and I don't even know if it's in this game. <clears throat> Specifically, I saw, like, the second half of a case. I think Maya was part of that case, though. So... Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been busy. How have you been? Well, lonely. And it's all your fault. No, I'm just teasing. I've been great. Getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. Yeah, I know. I know there's at least three. I know it was in the trilogy, but I don't know which one in the trilogy. Um, It was one about the Loch Ness Monster. And I think it was the white-haired attorney who's going to be the prosecutor in a lot who's like the main prosecutor dude um is the one on trial that I'm defending and that I that they, we were defending in it that's the only case I've seen any of and again I only saw like the very very end of it so I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here I got gotcha. you so what is it this time it's a clock A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue, the thinker. And it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now, you know I'm only teasing. Oh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Oh, it's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence, then? Hmm, well, there's a possibility that it might just or might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by my office tonight? Say, nine, to pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. Like burgers. I could really go for a good burger. I could go for a pizza. Okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. All right. It's a deal. Okay, sis. See you soon. No, you won't. Cause she'll be dead by the time you get there. Because that's the way this works. Everybody dies. It's like Donkey Rampa all over again. September 5th, 8.57 p.m. Faye and Co. Law Offices. Is is her name Mia Faye? Is that it? So most important question, does this game have cuttlefish? I do not believe it does. <gasps> that reminds me, we never finished the Romancing Amy route. Shit. There's a case in a zoo, I think. <laughs> Cuttlefish is code word for sexual relations. 
Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. <laughs> Cuttlefish. I love it. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Oh, ho you are not cogniferous of my background. What the fuck does that word mean? Is it just like another way of saying cognizant? I'm looking it up, that's why it's taking me a minute. Cogniferous. <laughs> I googled the word, and this is the very first, what does cogniferous mean? In the game, Phoenix Wright is right ace attorney at the beginning, investigation of the second case, turn about his sisters. During the conversation, a person says something about <laughs> cogniferous. What the hell? Did they actually make up a word for this? I think they actually legitimately made up a word for it. I was about to say it probably was like cognizant, yeah. The reason it's a it's a uh it's like an inside joke around here is because Katawa Shoujo was the second dating sim I played and when you turn on the um or visual novel I played for that matter when you turn on the mature filter when it is going when it's about to cut to sex scenes instead of showing sex the the sex scenes and having you read them off it goes to multiple slideshows of cuttlefish <laughs> as the images, just like zoo pictures of cuttlefish. So that's how it became a thing around here. Gathering information is my business, you see. I... I should have been more careful. Oh ho My dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry, but I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Fay. <sighs> Red, white, blue. Is it going to tell me who the murderer is at the beginning of every case? So all that I'm doing is just puzzling out how to prove it rather than actually figuring out who it is because that's not as fun as I would like it to be. Uh-oh, I'm late. Oh, that's strange. Guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood. Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Examine. I smell blood and that can't be good. I have to check and see if Mia the Chief's okay. Moved the office. Good. I was just wondering, because this is the second time in a row, as the murder has been happening, it's shown showed me who did it. That smell, blood. Sis. Someone's there. Chief? Chief! Chief! Snake! 
God, she has some massive gazangas. He said about the dead body. Who are you? <laughs> and she just drop passed out. I love it. The strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I couldn't feel it when I held her shoulder. Then all too quickly it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Chief. Titties are no more, or are they? I mean, I guess we found the body while it was still warm, so we had a few minutes. It's encrusted with dried blood. How oh, ironic this became the murder weapon again. Not that that's the definition of ironic, but, you know. Chief. It's hard seeing her like this, but if there are any clues here. She was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. Thinker added to the court record. The murder weapon looks like a statue, but it's actually a clock made by Larry Butts. <laughs> Butts. Hmm, there are some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces of the glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. The broken remains of a glass nightstand. Light stand. Broken beyond all recognition. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Hmm. A piece of paper. It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? A word is written in blood on the scrap of paper. Maya. Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store dated yesterday. Mm. Huh! One one zero three seven. Or red herring. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I better call the police and find out what that girl was doing here. Or we could keep looking around. Was that really all we have? Looks like she was hit in the head with a blunt weapon. She probably died instantly. The chief's chair, a simple functional design, feels pretty good to sit in, too. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna sit in her office chair and survey the scene. No clues here. Best way to do it, just sweep. Uh, yeah, the window. There's a large building right across from the office. The Gatewater Hotel, a nice, luxurious place. Maybe someone there saw it? Saw what happened? Oh! The Faye and Co. Ledger book. Everything is written in the Chief's ultra neat handwriting. It's a small office, but it makes a good bit of money. Right, I'd better call the police. That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. Looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police! Please come quick. 
What was that? Someone screaming from outside the window? She's staring right at me. Holy shit! She's holding a phone in her hand. We should go wave. That's how they know we're not a- that's how they'll know we're not a criminal, is if we wave hi to them. Surprisingly, the chief was never good with machines. But all she used this PC for was email. She picked up this ancient model at some garage sale for practically nothing. No clues here. A perfectly normal office desk. The chief had a very particular policy about office decor. Spend big on, the st on stuff the clients use, but keep your own stuff simple. The phone receiver is missing a few screws. I'd better not use it. Because it's using missing a few screws? You're missing a few screws, Phoenix. All the chief's important documents are packed in here. This is where she filed her case records and recent rulings. You. Hi! It won't let us wave. That girl just now, where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh-oh, I hope she didn't run on me. Ah! Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay, I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya Faye. Maya. So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Examine the room. Reception desk. I usually sit here because I'm not important enough to have an office of my own. Small writing desk cluttered with office supplies. You couldn't cram more legal books in here even if you wanted to. Few can gaze upon the shelves without feeling insignificant. The door to the chief's office is slightly open. I'd better not touch the doorknob. This sofa is for clients. It's leather, a real luxury model. A large painting, I guess you'd call this modern art. I, on the other hand, call it a mistake. <laughs> okay, this seems to be pretty much everything in the room. Nothing useful either. Uh, what happened? She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Um, excuse me, can you tell me what happened? I came in, the room was dark. And sis, sis. So she was already dead. So you're the chief's s sister. I'm her younger sister. And you were here visiting this late at night? Yes, she said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes, it was that clock. It was the thinker. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. Their parents named them Mia and Maya. God, imagine what it's like to hate your children that much. I mean, for, mo for, for most, if not everybody here, imagine what it's like to have children and then hate them that much, but still. Okay, Gregor.
Could have just called him Ara Ara. She wrote on the back this receipt. Oh, th that's my name. Well, why? Why would she write my name? Please. Please, just calm down. Imagine Mia as a mother. Trust me, I imagine that the moment we saw her. Or the process of getting her there, at least. But um, psh. Well, why would sis write my name? Uh oh. Now I've done it. Wee wee wee. The police sounds like they're coming this way. <laughs> Freeze, police. Hmm. All right, I'm Detective. D no, that's a terrible voice. Fucking shit. Ah. Yeah, I know his name is Dick. <laughs> uh, again, I'm five. Y'all should be used to it by now. Hey, Fo, welcome to the stream. We are playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. We are in Chapter 2, and people are dead, and we're currently trying to figure out what voice I want to give this detective dude, because I know he's going to be a consistent character throughout the entirety of the series, and his first name is Dick, and we were laughing about that. Because I'm five. Make it deep, he's kind of dumb. Should I do him like Yasuhiro? That's kind of what I was thinking. Not too stupid, though. Not Yasuhiro stupid. I haven't been able to get out of bed all day, so why not do something while I'm here? I guess that makes sense. Why haven't you been able to get out of bed all day? Didn't you have school? Or did you guys have it off too? I don't know why you guys would have it off too, because I feel like we had it off because it's President's Day or some such shit. I don't know, I don't even pay attention to fucking bullshit like that anymore. Alright, I'm- oh my god, that's terrible, too. Go off because we finish exams, so we get a small break. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Move it off until next Thursday? What? You get a full week off after exams? Fuck, we were lucky if we got the rest of the week off when exams were done. I'm trying to what I remember what I gave the owner of the newspaper in, um, in Valhalla. That's the voice I think I want to give this guy, but I'm trying to remember what, what, what it's like. Some people need some time to do more work if they fail their classes credit recovery week, I guess. That makes sense. President's Day is February 17th. Okay, I'm a moron. I have no idea why my kid had yet I had the day off. I just know he did. That's all I know. Imagine failing. I don't think ever any I think there are a couple of people in this room who don't have to imagine failing their exams. Isn't that right? Oh, right. No, that's terrible too. Fuck. <laughs> cough, cough. Me and math. That's kind of what I figured, Fo. I knew, I knew you'd failed something. I just didn't know what. <laughs> All right. No, that's terrible too. Fuck that. 
I could stay in bed on the, uh, all day, even on the weekends. I can't. We have accountability formations. Oof. All right, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe. See? Gumshoe, what an odd name. That's the name you think is odd? If I fail an exam twice, I get recycled? Are you a Terminator? We received the report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. It must have been that woman I saw. Dick is not an uncommon name. No, it's not, but his name is still Dick. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, Kay. Great. Just great. I feel like I should be doing something with my time off this week. I don't know. Maya, wait, she wouldn't have... Nah. Whoa. Excuse me. Eek. This word Maya here mean anything to you? Oh, uh, that. That's my name. What? The victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. Well, class of like 10 people got day zero recycled that will probably bump back my hold period a month. That sucks. Or it's good. I don't know. Depending on what you mean by bump back. Case closed. You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. What? Mia's younger sister Maya was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. So you'll be here a month longer, maybe even two, if enough Reserve and National Guard come. Crap, I need to do things for next semester, like clear out my binders and get a few other things. I'll supply them on Wednesday. Fun times. Yeah, it does sound bad. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6, 9.07 a.m. Detention Center Visitor's Room. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. <clears throat> oh! It's you, the lawyer! G -g good morning! Good morning. You're to help me out with stupid math again? Oh yeah, let's do it. We'll help. I'll help you out with all the stupid math. That sounds like lots of fun, Rogue. Actually, sounds like hell. She looks so tired. Um, are you gonna be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. It's up to you. I better give it to her straight. It's up to you. Up to me? Yes, I don't think this is something I should decide. After all, you're the one in trouble here. They're never gonna believe me, are they? Even you, when you found me in the office. You looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? She sure doesn't look like she did it. It looks like Tanko got resurrected. No more seesaws. Oh no, I never thought. It's okay, I understand. And I've also heard about you. 
Yes, it did kind of suck that they showed who the killer was at the start of the chapter. Especially this chapter, because I would like to have the ability to think Maya did it. And I would right now. Well, I don't know. The way we found her, that imagery was pretty pretty heavy to think she did, to still think she did it. I would probably be arguing that her do her being the culprit was the um was the uh red herring would probably be where I, where my stance is currently.